distances, like I was just saying, sorry about that, guys. Um, the distances are too far. I get an order for 12.5 miles, but it only wants to pay me $3.50. That, if you don't accept that order, that's going, if you decline that order, that's going to drop your acceptance rate. Um, a lot of things play in a factor of acceptance rate. Um, acceptance rate is a very big thing. If you do not know about DoorDash, um, yeah, and you plan on DoorDashing, plan on having to deal with a problem like that. Um, a lot of people don't want to accept every order because of stuff like that. It doesn't make any sense. Um, there's some people that will take the order, but not every order that comes along you're going to want to take. Now, my, my acceptance on orders is usually a dollar a mile. If it goes under a dollar a mile or it's not even close, most of the time I won't take it. Um, if it is under a dollar a mile, it has to be over 650 for me to take that order. If it's under 650 and it's not a dollar a mile, definitely not taking it. Um, or if it's over a dollar a mile, whatever. Um, but yeah, acceptance rate is very, very tricky. And that is something that I just wanted to touch on. Um, let's see here. What was I saying? Um, yeah, so acceptance rate is, um, that's that on acceptance rate. I'm sorry, I'm just getting blown away by these waves right here. <clears throat> I'm in a parking lot of a restaurant that I don't think is open yet. And I'm just looking at the waves while I'm waiting for my new shift to start. <clears throat> so, um... If you are looking to getting into DoorDash, you know, like I said, there's problems that you're going to have to deal with like in any job. Um, there are some perks and there are some cons. There are some pros. There are some cons. But that's going to be with any job. You're just going to have to weigh and measure, you know, your um, your uh, checks and balances and, and, and see if it's going to work out for you. Some people, they DoorDash in their spare time. I DoorDash full time. It is my full time job. Now, door dashing full time, something a lot of people don't think about is, oh, you're making all this money, you, you know, you must have, you must be doing good, you must be making a lot of profit, but they don't calculate in, you gotta buy your own gas, you gotta repair your own car, and working full time in DoorDash, it puts a lot of wear and tear on your car, um, especially if you're traveling long, long distances. You got to calculate in price of brakes. You got to calculate in um, tune-ups. Uh, after all that stuff, when you put it through your rigmarole, you might not even be making a profit. Um, so, you know, make sure you check all those things off before you get into dashing. But that's why I'm here. I'm here to help you guys out. I'm here to make sure that you know all these things before you get into dashing because these are things I did not think about before I got into dashing. Um, I gotta head out and start up this other shift here. I was just on this little break checking out the ocean. Um, if you guys like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Go ahead and leave a like. Go ahead and leave a comment. Um, if you guys are looking into getting into door dashing, please contact me so I can give you my referral code. It will help out both of us. You'll get $200. I will get some money out of it as well. I think it's $300 or 350 or something like that. Um, but you can't beat that. So if you guys are thinking about getting into dashing, you know, hit me up. Let me know. Drop something down in the comments. And yeah, that's that. That's the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Stay dashing. Have a great day. Peace.